Viewers like you have requested this recipe more than once. It's a simple dish that you can use your leftovers for, or you can make it an all-day project, or you can do it as quick and fast as I'm going to show you today on our show. We're going to make a bolognese today. We're going to be using Italian sausage, and we're going to be using a meatball mix, which is basically a meatloaf mix with ground beef, pork, and veal. We're going to start out real simple, adding a little bit of olive oil to our pan, which is at about a medium heat. This bolognese is just a slightly different version of the one I do at the restaurant, but this is a, di this is a dish you can make at home with leftovers. You can make it an all-day project, like I said, or do it quick and fast when you're on the run. We're going to take a little celery. The celery is going to add some sweetness. We're going to add it to our hot pan. We're going to add some carrots. You want to put the harder vegetables in first because it's going to take a little while for them to cook. Then we're going to add our onion. I think because I'm Sicilian, I like a little sweeter dish, so I use the sweeter vegetables, and I use a little Marcella wine, which adds a nice depth to it. It gives it a little more sweetness. So our vegetables are going to cook. We're going to take our ground beef, pork, whatever you like to use. Ground beef, pork, and veal is what I got, a combo. We're going to add this, and we're going to break it up and have it start browning. We're going to take some Italian sausage. Now, this is sweet. If you want to use the hot, go right ahead. We're just going to take the skin off of it. So we're going to peel it back and peel it right out of the skin. Add it to our pan. Now we'll just brown it off. So this has been browning for about five minutes, and now we're going to season it with a little salt, a little pepper, and then we're going to add some Marcella wine to it. Now the Marcella wine, it will cook out the alcohol, so don't worry about that. And then one of the things our cameraman was asking me, why would you want to take all day with this change of flavor? Absolutely not. Do it on top of the stove. Do it quick. I take meatballs at home. I crush them up. I saute them with onions. I throw a little tomato sauce in it little Romano cheese and I put it over my favorite pasta. It's a simple, quick and easy dish. So you can see our meat is browned, our vegetables are softened, the alcohol is cooked out. And we're going to add just one jar of tomato sauce right to it. If you have your own tomato sauce, that's absolutely perfect. Add about two tablespoons of heavy cream. Now the heavy cream won't break down. If you use a half and half for a milk, it'll curdle on you. You don't want that to happen. So use the heavy cream, stir it in. It looks, it's got that beautiful glossy finish that you want to have. I'm going to add a little Romano cheese. Save some for the end. Now we'll let this simmer for about another 10 minutes. Put it over our pasta. Time to mangiare. After about 10 minutes of simmering on top of the stove, we cook some spaghetti and put it underneath the bottom here. Man, the carrots, the celery, the sweetness, tomato sauce. This is an outstanding bolognese and it didn't take me all day. Come down and see me, 1085 Niagara Street, Marco's Restaurant. Come dine with me, Western New York. <laughs>